So we called in this pair for probably over 900 yards, but we were only able to get one of them to commit. And so we watched it come all the way in to about 140 before uh, Steven and I double tapped them. So we were playing a rabbit in distress call, which was, seemed to be working, and then right about here, something got his attention and started playing around. I'm not sure what it was thinking, and then it picked back up, and curiosity started coming back our way. So we were hunting a hedgerow in the middle of a bunch of big fields and these next two really scared us. Um, we were facing opposite direction and then next thing you know we heard booger barking directly behind us. And you can see him barking here through the leap scope and then about the time we both spun around and we put both of them down. And sometimes you just have to put one more in them just in case. So we went back to the place that I had done my solo hunt knowing there was a few more coyotes out there. And we found one more mouse around in the field again. Called this one in. I can't really remember how far he was, but he really wouldn't stay committed. He would come into the call a little bit and then just kept jumping around in the field. I thought I had an opportunity for a good shot. I took it and figured that was the end of it. Well, after we give it a little bit of time, went to go track him down, he got back up, and this is when uh, Thomas put a really good shot on him. He was still back there with the tripods and he put this one down. So the bonus pig. We pulled in to go set up the coyote hunt another property and straight down from us was a pretty big pig. Uh, I got on the gun first before it walked back into the cotton patch and we got her down. And just for reference, I'm six foot two ten. This is just some footage from the Rick Stride ST6. I got it running on a helmet currently, and we're just kind of getting ready to set up for the next sit. So in this next clip, I kind of took a back seat to this one, just because the way everybody was positioned and all. But we started howling, broke out some serenade howls, and then we had one started howling back, and then it come barreling in. This is looking through Thomas's AGM varmint, and he's repositioning now to kind of get on the other side of everybody. We could not get this coyote to stop. As much as we yell and everything else, it just would not stop. Then Steven takes a good shot on him when he finally does. Puts one right through both of his hips. He still runs off, and then Thomas puts one in his head as he's running. Awesome shot by him. Good shot, Thomas. Let me turn shit off. No, you good. Is it just the front that's lit up, or is it the side too? Just the front. All right, let's uh. Let me that bright. Thank you. 